All right, so I swapped out. This is the Gigabyte uh, GeForce 1050 Ti. Uh, this, uh, if you notice, the DP covered uh, the play, display port, HDMI, and DVI. Um, this video card only displays BIOS output from the HDMI and does so at 640 by 480 at 60 hertz, which is no problem for my Acer display. I have upgraded this card to an MSI Mech 2 RX 6600 HDMI cable. Now watch this nonsense because this is happening all over. In Windows, not a problem. Operating system, whether it's Linux or Windows, no problem. But what we're going to see here is we're going to reboot. And I'll show you some nonsense that people... I'll show you something that people say is nonsense. What I am... What's happening is I'm getting uh, no display on this Acer monitor until the operating system is just about to boot. It's already loaded, which means I can't get into BIOS. My goodness, restart already. <laughs> there we go. Now... The display is auto sourcing. Now, it's got a signal, but look at that, input not supported. And it'll stay that way. At this time, I should get a blinking cursor in this corner. PC speaker just beeped. I should see my logo, the MSI logo, Pro Series logo on the screen, not there. I am now in Windows. Windows is loading. It initializes my HDMI display. There's my lock screen. Now, I'm not getting BIOS information. I'm not getting BIOS post from HDMI. That's the issue. And uh, there's a way that, there, here's the way I fix it. And I shouldn't have to do this every time I need to get in the BIOS. So watch this. What we're going to do is unplug the HDMI from the back here. And plug in my 4K TV. Oh boy. Now let's go to the 4K TV here. This is the Vizio B509. We're going to change that over to the PS4. I should be getting, oh, wait a minute, it's on, here we go, eyes and PC, here we go. Now, notice the resolution. Hold up, let me show that real quick here. Info, it's driving 4K and HDR10, 2160. Now, we're going to reboot, and you're going to see my boot up screen, you're going to see BIOS initialize and everything. So go to power, restart, restart anyway. Okay. See this? See the cursor right here. I'm not getting that on my Acer. And look at that logo. Look how tiny that logo is. That means this video card is defaulting at boot up to a 4K display. Let me redo this again. I'll show you one more time. And this time, I'll actually go into BIOS. Restart. Restart anyway. Get over here so I can hit delete here. Because when the BIOS is loaded, I'm going to go into my uh, 4K panel here. 
and find out exactly what resolution it's freaking running at. Okay, there's the cursor in the screen. PC speaker beat, I press delete, there's my BIOS. I cannot pull up this screen on that Acer now. Not since I moved, not since I replaced the darn uh, Gigabyte, that uh, GTX 1050. So what we're going to do now is go into our info here. Look at that. I'm staring at a BIOS screen and my TV is in 4K mode. 2160 pixels. Let's get some info on this video mode here. Let's see. System information. And let's scroll down. Right there. Source type HDMI. Resolution 3840 by 2160 at 30 freaking hertz. That Acer display can't do that resolution, and that's why I don't get that darn video problem. That's why I don't get that, uh, I can't enter my BIOS. <sighs> Pisses me off. Oh, wrong remote. So this is the reason why. AMD decided everybody has a 4K display over HDMI from the get-go instead of a 1080 display. And that is why this is happening. I'm getting 2160 pixels and BIOS instead of 1080. I can I can pop I can pop this card back in, and this monitor, this TV will uh, display this screen at 1080p, but not that Acer. That Acer can't do 4K. Pisses me off. So now what I got to do in order to fix this issue is get me a uh, display port to uh, HDMI converter that does downscaling. So it'll downscale this 4K image to 1080p and that monitor will freaking work. This is why people are buying a 1060. I mean, this is why people are buying a 3060 and a 3080. They're, they're staying with NVIDIA instead of AMD. This is ridiculous. And people, people on Reddit call this nonsense. Buddy, there is no nonsense here. There's no denying this. That is 2160 pixels. That is a 4K goddamn resolution. And that Acer is a 1080p display. Way to go, AMD.